here I am on Vimy Ridge on behalf of Valor Canada. Um, I hardly need to say what this is actually about. It's clearly about the battle of the 9th, 10th of April 1917 when Canadian soldiers storm this ridge. Looking from where I am now, I'm looking down uh, quite a gradual slope, but behind me is the high point of the ridge, point 145. This would only be taken by extremely heavy fighting. What happens next is it becomes a Canadian National Memorial and the government decides that this is where they'll put the memorial to the missing of the Canadian Army. And on that monument behind me are the names of 11,169 soldiers who went missing during the course of the war, who were never discovered or possibly simply were unknown when they were found. What makes this monument interesting in many ways is the competition which actually was held to choose the most meaningful monument to go on here and then actually the symbolism within it. There are two pylons, one the old world where I am now, the other the new world and between the two of them is Mother Canada grieving her fallen sons. What happens is the monument is built using stone imported from former Yugoslavia, from Dalmatia. It's special stone, very light coloured, and it's intended to stand out over the Duai Plain, which is behind me. Ships are organised to bring veterans and family members from Canada. They come here by ship arriving on the coast and then they're brought here by train, they're brought here by charabang and coaches and they all gather actually below the edge of the ridge, not where we are now, where most visitors come. And when it's unveiled, they very, very carefully choose a monarch. They choose Edward VIII to unveil it. A Brit, but obviously monarch at the time, a very short monarchy, but the key point to remember is that he'd served in the British Army in 1914 to 1918. Non-combatant, but nonetheless, he would have his medals up with everybody else now wearing their medals post-war. What a tremendous obstacle this was, because although coming this way, it's a gradual slope upwards, beyond the monument itself, it falls away onto the Douai Plain. And Canadian soldiers who get up here on the 9th and 10th are able to see German soldiers scurrying away. They can actually see trains, they can see factories working, they can see collieries still drawing up coal from underground and suddenly the Germans have a tremendous problem. And the key thing to remember about this location is it's never again captured. In 1918 when the Germans try and capture it or recapture it they fail completely. This then is a very important point, both in the history of the war, but also, of course, in how we remember the fallen of Canada.